What is up, mates? European top clubs are facing an epidemic of complex injuries, while Man City and Liverpool are planning to complete huge signings in the summer of 2025. Hit the like button under this video and let's get the show on the pitch! I don't think it'll be a long injury for Kevin De Bruyne. I will not say what for it and I don't know for Newcastle, but I think it'll not be long. Guardiola said. Blue Heaven Holdings and Fritkin Group, who own a majority share in Syria A giants AS Roma, have become the new owners of Everton. The deal is fully completed. Napoli goalkeeper Alex Mirrod was diagnosed with a second-degree strain of the left thigh adductor muscle, thus he will remain sidelined for at least one month. After a successful start to the season at Udinese, Florian Toevin has received a surprise provisional call-up to the front squad for the first time in five years. It's all signed. We are very happy with Mendy, Carlo Ancelotti confirms. The contract is valid for three years. The FA will not get involved or issue a punishment to Erling Holland for throwing the ball at Gabriel after Man City's second goal. The UEFA Referee Committee has acknowledged that the referee at the Germany-Spain clash at Euro 2024, Anthony Taylor, as well as the VAR officials, made a mistake for not giving Germany a spot kick for Mark Kukurea's handball. Cardiff City are still claiming 120 million euros from Nantes for Emiliano Salah. The Welsh club have called on a specialist data firm to assess the likelihood of the club staying in the Premier League in 2019 if Salah had not died in a plane crash. Liverpool and Manchester United are both showing interest in Fulham left-back Anthony Robinson. The cottagers value him at £35 million. Manchester United had the opportunity to recruit Xavi Simmons in the summer, but the player refused to make the switch at the last minute. Barcelona will announce a contract extension this week for Marc Bernal, who tore his ACL earlier in the season. Due to bad weather conditions, the Serie A fixture between Atalanta and Como has been postponed to today. Erling Haaland went on vacation to Norway for a few days. He will not appear on the pitch in Manchester City's Carabao Cup tie with Watford. After Daniela De Rossi's dismissal, Roma made contact with Xavi, but he refused. The former Barcelona manager wants to rest a little bit. The German FA wants Jurgen Klopp to lead the national team after Julian Nagelsmann. Real Madrid are looking for a new central defender, and among the club's options is Nottingham Forest's first-choice centre-back Moody Lowe. Everton's new owners are considering sacking Sean Dyche and bringing in guard Southgate. Eduardo Camavinga, who missed the start of the season due to a knee injury, has resumed group training with the first team. PSG are working on extending the contract of their first choice right back, Ashraf Hakimi. The Premier League, along with Europe's top leagues, are trying to agree a plan which would mean next summer's transfer window closes before the start of the season. Being at Real Madrid, the best club in the world, feels something special. I would love to stay here at Real Madrid for many more years. I don't have an expiration date, Carlo Ancelotti said. I've been at Liverpool for 20 years now. I've signed four or five contract extensions and none of them have been said in public. This one won't be either. I've always said I want a captain Liverpool, Alexander Arnold said. I call Madrid the Real Immigrant. Madrid has eight blacks, two white foreigners and one Spaniard, Carvajal. Vinicius may be a great player, which I believe he is, but he is a shitty person, former Valencia president Paco Roch said. The legendary Raul Gonzalez plans to fully leave the position of head coach of Real Madrid Castilla after this season. RB Leipzig versatile defender Castello Luqueba has now emerged as a key target for Real Madrid. The Red Bulls value him at 40 million euros. Arsenal will offer Leandro Trezard a new contract in the near future. Barcelona scouts have set their sights on Aston Villa's forward John Duran. The club is considering his transfer. Yesterday, only one match was played in the top flight leagues. Here's its result. Yesterday, Man City supporters received some very sad news. The injury sustained by the team's midfield leader, Rodri, during the game against Arsenal turned out to be a very serious one. According to ESPN and Marca, Rodri was diagnosed with a torn anterior cruciate ligament in his knee. 
Man City have not yet officially confirmed this info, but the Spanish midfielder is expected to miss the rest of the season. This could mean a very serious blow for Man City, given that Rodri is considered one of the favorites to capture the 2024 Ballon d'Or award. Yesterday, Rodri arrived in Barcelona, where the famous doctor Cugat will conduct additional tests. Man City are getting ready for the possible departure of Kevin De Bruyne, while Bayern Munich star Jamal Musiala is a candidate to replace the stellar Belgian. According to Team Talk, Man City realized that it'll be difficult for Bayern to convince Musiala to extend his contract. Next year, Man City will open talks with the Munich Giants, and the initial offer will be 100 million euros. This is unlikely to be enough to buy out the Bundesliga star, but this amount will serve as a good start for meaningful negotiations. Musiala himself would love to return to England, where he spent his boyhood. Last summer, Liverpool were extremely passive in the transfer market, but in the summer of 2025, the Merseysiders will do things in a completely different way. Liverpool's executives are exploring the option of bringing in three Bayer Leverkusen stars at once. The main target, of course, is Florian Wirtz, who would be more open to living after the season. Other targets include right-back Jeremy Frimpong and center-back Ezequiel Palacios. However, the 60 million euros price tag the Black and Reds are demanding for the letter could put off Liverpool and other buyers. Superstar Erling Haaland was literally on fire after the game against Arsenal. Apart from throwing the ball at the back of Gabriel's head, the Norwegian cyborg got into a verbal altercation with Mikel Arteta and Gabriel Jesus. Holland said to the Arsenal boss that he should be more humble. After that, he was approached by Gabriel Jesus, whom the attacker called a fucking clown. The worst predictions have been confirmed. Mark and Retter Stegen will not be available to play until the end of the season due to a complete tear of the hamstring ligaments. Therefore, Barca are exploring several options for further actions. Option 1. Signing a goalkeeper who is now a free agent. The main candidate, according to the Aria Sport, is the former Real Madrid and PSG keeper Kaylor Navas, who is open to joining Barca and is ready to make concessions in salary. Another option is Antonio Adan, who is known for representing Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Real Betis and Sporting. Option 2. Iñaki Peña will serve as the main shot stopper until January, and if he doesn't deliver, Blaugrana will buy a new goalkeeper in the winter. In this case, the club has identified three main candidates. Alvaro Valles from Las Palmas, Stel Dimitrievski from Valencia, and Guillaume Rest from Toulouse. Moreover, the young Frenchman is seen as the future first choice for the position at the Catalan club. The legendary Claudio Bravo, who has already played for the Blaugrana, also expressed his readiness to resume his career for the Spanish Giants. Write in the comments down below who exactly should replace Ter Stegen. On October 28, Real Madrid ace Vinicius Jr. will be awarded the Ballon d'Or. The Brazilian has already been made aware of the matter. Nike plans to reopen its Gran Via store in Madrid two days after the Ballon d'Or is handed to Vinicius. They have already made custom-made golden boots for the player. Guys, don't forget to check out these suggested videos from our other projects. Have a great time watching!